The pictures are faded and outdated, but Marie John clings to images of her family in happier times, paging through an old family album and mourning what she says is the loss of two sons. One son is dead and another in police custody, charged with his brother's murder. John is a mother of 10, eight to reside overseas. She says her deceased son came home to attend a funeral, but now she has the task of planning his, while she still grieves for her son in custody. She says the entire episode began with an argument and a mix-up over a cellular phone. Residents of the community point to the red outline on the road, the spot where 50-year-old Rollins John collapsed and died. Police investigations are continuing. Residents say the accused never left the scene. He surrendered to police soon after the attack. We have in custody at this point in time the accused. Um, he also has some injuries. He's in custody. Also the um, cutlers that is involved, we have it in custody also. John says her accused son thought Rollins took his cell phone and ransacked her home in a fit of anger. Overturned tables, strewn clothes across the room, she says he lost his temper completely. MP for the area, Dr. Robert Lewis, visited the family on Monday. Dr. Lewis says people must learn to resolve conflicts without violence. It's just sad that we have to learn, that I think, that we have to resolve our conflicts a lot better than what we are doing as a country. We simply cannot solve every single problem we have by resorting to a cutlass or a knife or a firearm. We need to be able to um, use positive conflict um, management um, techniques and that is what people need to do. Just a matter of backing off something might have happened that caused you to be angry. All what people require to do is just to back off a while and let the situation cool out. The accused suffered injuries during the deadly altercation. John says although residents tried to shield her from the scene, she pushed through the large crowd of onlookers to see both her sons hurt. John says the deceased never had the phone. It was revealed later that another brother had taken the telephone. John says by the time this was cleared up, her son was already dead and Claude John in police custody. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.